Welcome to IDB, everyone. It's Andrew, and I've got a brand new speaker from Lofree. We've seen them in the past, and you may or may not remember, but the design of this definitely is reminiscent of the last product that we covered from them, which was this amazing mechanical keyboard for Mac users. It's definitely got that retro look, had all those cool circular keys, but it still had those MX blue switches for really great performance. It's definitely reminiscent of a typewriter, but it was obviously aimed at Mac users, not Windows users, which is very rare for a mechanical keyboard. So these really cool polarizing looks. I know some people absolutely loved it, like me, and other people were not so fine of that retro design. But if you found this keyboard really cool, you're going to love the new product from Lofree, which is actually another retro throwback, but this time in a modern speaker. The new product from Lofree is called the Poison Speaker and it basically looks like an old school 50s radio. Our pre-release unit didn't really have that much of an unboxing experience, but it still came off as a pretty premium product. Had some cool icons on the outside of the packaging, and when opened up, had kind of a little display box. Had Poison M imprinted on that top left-hand corner and some other info along the back, but otherwise, not really any literature on how this thing looks, works, or really any of the specs at all. You remove that little parchment from inside, and you actually see the speaker itself comes in many different colors, though we opted for this really cool red version. Underneath the speaker is a tiny little box with a few accessories. It has an auxiliary cable, a charging cable, which is nothing more than micro USB, and then a little leather strap, so you can actually kind of carry it around with you, just adds a little bit more to that retro design. On top of the unit, you have a little kind of silver here, but it's actually a light, you just can't really tell until it's on. Then you have a little knob that has some tactile feel to it as you rotate it. On the left hand side are a few buttons, like volume up and down, as well as Bluetooth and the power slash mode button. Along the back is this pretty much a mirror looking bass driver that is freely moving to offer definitely some oomph to it. As well as on the left side you have that micro USB port and that auxiliary port. You don't want to actually plug in your phone, you obviously have Bluetooth as a backup option. These sides have little bars to attach the leather to, and then right along the front, this really cool, barely see it, but you definitely can if you pay attention, is all the radio dials, because this actually is an FM radio as well as a Bluetooth speaker. It has a cool little effect too. When you plug into charge, there is a tiny little lightning bolt that glows red as it's powering up and charging, which is definitely a cool minor thing, but I really liked it. The battery inside, speaking of battery, will last about 6 hours of continuous playback. It again works over Bluetooth, simply jump into the Bluetooth settings on your phone after holding down the Bluetooth button. It'll allow contacts and favorites to sync, which is important because when somebody calls you, you can actually hear who is calling you. It'll tell you who is calling you because it kind of has a, I don't want to say a voice assistant, but it has a little voice that'll tell you what's going on with the speaker like as you change modes or when someone's calling. Sound wise, this thing is a beast. For as small as this is, I could not turn it all the way up inside of the apartment. It was definitely too loud and I was surprised at how much bass came out of this. And it wasn't just kind of a loose bass that was all over the place. It was a very tight sounding bass. So for the size of this thing, I was very happy with the sound quality. And a lot it's going to be that bass driver along the back, bringing more bass to those two 10 watt drivers along front for standard audio. The bottom also has these really soft squishy feet, which who cares, but that reduces the vibrations on the table and just makes the sound sound so much better. As I mentioned previously, it does have a little bit of a voice feedback, so as you press the buttons, it'll tell you what's going on. Bluetooth mode. We're in Bluetooth mode. FM mode. Now we're into the radio mode. AUX mode. And that's aux mode, so you can just tell what you're in either by the voice feedback and this little light changes along the top based on what you're in, whether it's Bluetooth, aux, or FM radio. Lofree describes this as hi-fi sound with lo-fi looks, and I'd have to say I agree with that. I was a little bit skeptical of this kind of plasticky, old-school looking speaker, but quality was absolutely amazing, and I'm very happy with it, and I can't wait to show this off to my friends. So if you want to pick one of these up in any range of the different colors, you can find a link below in the description just to make it easy. Let us know what you think. Do you love this 50s look, or do you absolutely hate it? Let us know down in the comments. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up for more cool videos like this, and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.